following message is for workers from the planet Barbara, currently stationed on Edite Frignim, or Earth. Now, stand by for our fantastic leader, our Peruvian Shebeshente. The film you are about to see is of great importance to our fantastic mission. It has been made with the help of human collaborators who have since been electrocuted. Building a human. Module 4. Completion. Narrated by Replica Whitby 494. Ever since the visitors first arrived on Edite Frignim, they have been producing human replicas like myself to carry out their fantastic work. Unfortunately, the early models were cumbersome and easily detected. But thanks to the tireless work of our fantastic leader, Arpuvian Shebashenti, life giver of the universe, today's models are indistinguishable from actual human beings. Can you tell which are the humans and which are the replicas? Well, these are all humans, but here are some replicas, just built in our Kensington workshop. Of course, they haven't had their life force fucked into them yet, but this human will soon take care of that, won't you, Henry? So, now you've worked through the instructions and have built all the component parts to the replica's body, it's time for the finishing touches. The bottom is attached to the torso with a special meringue mixture. The face is checked for blackheads. And now for the eyes. Hey, don't forget me. Nice to see you. Hair and makeup are applied by Perry of Mayfair. And finally, the bladder is filled with urine. And they're all set. Well, almost. Ready to give them life, Henry? Any replicas that are found to be faulty are to be immediately destroyed. This one was supposed to strangle Winston Churchill, but got drunk instead. This one's voice had a lisp. This lady replica wanted to marry a human. Don't worry, replicas can't feel any emotions except for pain and love. Once your replicas are checked and built, they can get to work. Building other replicas. All working towards our fantastic goal, the construction of five million Eiffel Towers. These gigantic space cruisers will be fitted with special ice rays and fly directly to the sun to freeze it. Once frozen, this will complete phase one of our fantastic mission. As for me, I have served my fantastic purpose and will now be melted. All hail our fantastic leader, our Povian Shebashente. <laughs> Bye.